All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you how I would typically hold a mug. Um, so while I found that it's possible to hold a mug by the handle of the mug, um, which is what I would typically do with my dominant hand, I found that I feel the most secure if I'm holding the mug um, with power grip um, by the base of the mug. And this is because power grip is really great because it allows the bottom fingers to continue to close around the mug so that um, they support the weight of the mug. So as you can see, my bottom two fingers here are um, closed all the way while my top fingers are holding the mug. This is really great because I just, I feel like I have a much more secure hold on the mug. It allows those bottom two fingers to support the weight of the mug, um, especially if, if it's a hot liquid, if it's heavy, if I have a, if I have a lot of liquid in it um, and I'm in a social setting and I'm moving around. I really like using power grip, especially using this technique of the bottom two fingers closing and holding the weight of the mug uh, so that I feel like I'm not going to drop it. Um, in a similar way, if I was holding a glass like this, I would also be in power grip. Um, I could hold it normally in power grip with all five fingers grasping it. Uh, I do feel like I have a sturdy hold around this glass, but if, again, I was in a social setting, if I'm moving around a lot, um, if I'm just nervous that I'm going to drop it, I also find that being in power grip and having those two fingers um, close all the way to hold the weight of the glass, I feel a lot more secure. Um, and I feel like that glass isn't gonna go anywhere, which is really great. Um, something else that I think is important to note that I found really helpful when holding heavy things and especially in social settings where I'm nervous and I really don't wanna drop anything is uh, using the touch feedback that the hand offers to me. So what's really cool is that in the hand, there are these tiny little pressure sensors. And when they sense pressure, such as when I'm holding a glass like this, that will relate to a vibrational motor in my socket that uh, vibrates my arm and just gives me a little confirmation that I'm holding the glasses, they're not gonna go anywhere, um, and I have a sturdy grip on them. And that's really great because as a prosthetic user, I feel like I often will rely on visual cues a lot. So often if I'm grabbing something, I will be watching my hand, making sure all five of my fingers have closed around it and kind of continuing to watch my hand to make sure that I don't drop it and that I'm not gonna accidentally trigger one of my muscles and open the hand and drop it everywhere. Um, but because of this touch feedback, which gives me that little vibrational like, confirmation um, or assurance that I'm holding the glass and that I have a sturdy grip on it, it allows me to depend a lot less on visual cues to make sure that I'm holding something. Um, so that's just been a feature that's really helpful for me, especially when holding heavy objects such as glasses filled with liquid or, you know, glasses filled with hot liquid. So that is how I would hold two of the most um, typical kind of glasses that I use.